Today, I'll show you how to do your XDC crypto taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly and welcome back to another wallet integration video. Today we're talking about XDS uh, blockchain. It's a very new integration we just released. So we're on the ball on this one and we've got the content ready for you to go. So I'll tell you a little bit about this blockchain, then I'll jump into the integration part of the video, which is extremely straightforward, and then um, show you where to get the necessary tax documentation. And then lastly, if you have any questions, which I don't think there's gonna be too many for this one, but if you do, I'm gonna leave some resources for you um, down below in the description. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So XDS is an enterprise ready hybrid blockchain for global trade and finance, which combines the power of public and private blockchains with interoperable smart contracts. They are claiming a lot of different things like offering more transactions per second, lower fees, less energy consumption compared to their first um, and second generation competitors like, you know, uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. So it'll be interesting to see if those things actually pan out how they are claiming. They currently have a market cap of over $500 million. So that is enough about this. Let's jump into the actual integration part of this video. Okay, so the first step is obviously to log into your Coinly account. And if you haven't made one, it's completely free. So um, feel free to do so. Head over into the wallet section and then click on add wallet in the top right corner. Click or type in XDC and then this will pop up and then you're gonna click on it. And here is where you need your public um, key, which is really easy to get. I'll show you where to get it from the app. Just one small reminder here, API returns only last 5,000 transactions. So that'll be more than enough for 99.9% .9 of users. Um, I don't think there's gonna be anyone that's gonna have more than that. So anyways, I'll show you now where the public address is on the uh, actual wallet on my phone. So log into your XFIN wallet and then head over into the receive area. Um, and right there is the public key. So make sure it starts with XDC. Um, if it doesn't, you're probably not on the right page. So find a way to copy and paste that into Coinly. So maybe send it to yourself or write it down, um, but take that key and copy and paste it here into Coinly. So as you can see, the data has been imported into Coinly. If you head over into the transactions area, you'll see a summary of all your transactions and Coinly has already done the hard part, which is calculated your capital gains and losses. And obviously check your transactions if you're doing any kind of staking, so you can tag them as send to pool and send from pool. If you head over to the tax reports area, you'll get a fantastic summary of all your crypto activity throughout the year. And you can kind of use this to monitor where your crypto taxes are going to end up. And then at the very bottom, when you're done reviewing everything, you can select a tax plan that's appropriate for your needs. And we have plenty of different options as you see on the screen before you. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D Form 8949. You can also export to TurboTax, um, both online and desktop versions. We have reports for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland. For Australia, we have the ATO tax report. And then lastly, for Canada, Germany, other countries, we have the complete tax report, which you, know, which you can also give directly to an accountant and then combine it with your other tax documentation to submit. Or alternatively, you can invite them to Coinly to set up their accountancy firm here with us. And then lastly, make sure to check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. But that was a very straightforward integration. I'm gonna leave you some resources as I always do. Firstly, we have the Coinly Help Center with countless different crypto tax related articles. We have a feedback section. If you're having any problems with our software, let us know. We have a forum section where you talk to members of our community as well as our staff. And then lastly, if all else fails, you can contest, contact us directly and we'd love to help you out. So if you found this video helpful in any way, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.